Mm. This is going to be good. Oh, this man once has accused me of having no imagination. I don't know what's wrong with that boy. Hello, viewers, and welcome to, hang on, James May roasts Clarkson and Hammond's cars brackets plus a bonus celebrity. I don't know who the bonus celebrity is yet, so as we say in television, let's find out. <sighs> right, here we go. Um, Jeremy Clarkson and the Alfa Romeo GTV6. This is the one we used on the uh, special in Scotland. Yeah, lovely engine, and but they don't work. I mean, they didn't work when they were new. They don't work now. I'm not sure he ever really drives it. And he's standing in a very odd way in that picture. I'm not here to roast him. I think the GTV6 is not as good looking as people make out. It looks slightly bent and slightly pinched. I'm struggling really, I'm not really very good at roasting because I don't really feel strong enough about it, but I don't particularly want an Alfa Romeo GTV6. What's next? We've got Richard Hammond and a Jaguar XK150 FHC. That's fixed head coupe for people who aren't into classic cars. So we've got a 70s GTV6 and a 50s Jaguar in sort of gray green these these are the two people who say i'm living in the past look at hammond's car he's got he's paired it with his shirt that'll make him the feature in the daily mail once took part in the tulip rally what the hell is that what what is the tulip rally it's a rally in belgium what that happened before we were all born in the 50s, yeah. and, and this enhances the car the knowledge that it was once driven around belgium it's got like a finisher in so it's a Jaguar that finished a journey. Well, I suppose that makes it quite commendable. It's got a strap on the bonnet. All my cars have got a catch that stops the bonnet flying up and hitting you in the face when you're driving along. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with that boy. Oh, here's another of Hammond's. Ah, and this is a modern car for Richard Hammond, a Mercedes-Benz EQS. This is the simply gigantic, sort of not really a coupe, but made to look a bit like a big coupe electric Mercedes with a very long range, supposedly over 400 miles, although that's always bollocks, frankly. I believe it is the longest range electric car currently on sale in, certainly in Europe, but possibly not China. Uh, it overtook my long range Tesla Model S, which I've had for quite a while now. What I would like to roast about this is not the car itself, although I'm not particularly keen on it because it's a bit too massive and a bit too in your face, but it's that Richard Hammond has a whole series about restoring classic cars, mainly his own, let's be honest, and the past and how glorious it was because of the Tulip Rally and the John Prescott Hill Climb and all those other things that everybody else has forgotten. And yet when he actually has to go somewhere, well, there's a thing. He's got a thoroughly modern car, so modern it doesn't even have an engine. Oh, there's Jeremy Clarkson again on his farm Range Rover L322. I hope he didn't describe it as the L322 because that's a model, that's an internal factory model designation, which is something we don't do on the Grand Tour. Um, what can I say about Range Rovers? Let me just get rid of this menu that's come up. See, I'd have a Land Cruiser just to be bloody minded. A green Range Rover in a field. This man once has accused me of having no imagination. Bonus celebrity, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, right, I haven't scrolled down yet, but this is gonna be good. Ryan Reynolds, the well-known Canadian drinks producer, has got a... Oh. Hmm. But it's a Honda CB750, the original dawn of the Japanese superbike 1960s CB750, special by Ratchia Motorcycles. I don't know anything about them. Custom ordered by, it says here, the star himself, rather than just putting Brian. You know. It was requested because it reminded Reynolds of a bike he had when he was younger. He's not that old as it is, is he? He actually learned to ride on a CB750, did he? That was brave. Obviously, this example is quite different from stock. Yes, it is. And took about seven months to complete. Oh, come on. You put me on the spot asking me to do these roasts because I'm really not very good at it, but I, I can't really roast that as a lifelong Honda fan and an owner in the past of several. CB750s, I've had three in total, including an original Sandcast model. 
And making a special out of a four-cylinder Honda is a perfectly legitimate thing to do. And it looks like it's been done very nicely. And it's not too prissy. It's got a bit of, it's got a few wrinkles and a, and a, um, almost a sort of vintage aeroplane cowling look to it, which I've got to be honest, I quite like as, a, as an objet d'art. Yes, this would suggest that our Brian is actually a man of some taste. His gin's rubbish, though. What have you done with my prop, Lucy? I know we're going to do it with the logo, aren't we? Can we... <laughs> I'm old. Can we cut that bit out and I'll just continue? Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>